everybody. This is Jared here with a video about this. This is a Remington Rand uh, adding machine. The interior needs clean, but I'm probably going to wait until I'm situated in a bit better spot to take this apart to actually clean it. You can see there's some rust and gunk inside. Um, it still works completely fine though, so for now I'm just going to leave it as it is. These are the number punches. Here we have the actual lever mechanism, which goes up to the... I'm pretty sure that's... Well, I don't know. Yeah, that's Bakelite on the handle. Here we have our little knob. You can turn... This wheel controls the paper. We do have an old roll of paper here. even has the old paper smell to it. Um, down here we have the various springs. Um, so this was the six number model. Um, you can see here though it did have the option where you could run uh, nine numbers. I guess for larger businesses that did more accounting work um, and therefore we've needed more uh, numbers. Even down here uh, you can see, so this is our clear function, um, and there's a spring attached to that. If I press these keys, you can see up here, it stops here, but there are more slots in there for more numbers as well. Um, Over here is our, this is actually our uh, little indicator that tells us if we are totaling out or not. Um, everything locks into place with springs and mechanisms. This is a really old school machine. Um, I'm actually really glad to have this. Um, so over here we also have our multiplication function. If we are multiplying, we press down on this lever and it locks in place up here. And then to turn it off, we just press down and back. And you can see the back, that lever just kind of pops down. Um, up here, this is our indicator that lets you know how many spaces you've gone over. Um, it's a little bit bent. I have to look at bending that back into place. Um, and down here on the case for it, you can see that it's actually got the spaces for the numbers. This is the tab that opens up to show the ink ribbon um, inside. There's really nothing interesting inside this um, in front of it. Uh, the back of this also says Remington Rand. The back is where all of the paper mechanics are. Remington Rand in the United States. It's in the paper. Um, one of which, the actual paper holder I've taken off. Mind the mess. I've been cleaning this. This is the kind of gunk that's been coming off of this. It's very, very dirty, very oily. Um, that's mostly off of this keypad here. You can see which parts I've already cleaned and which parts I still have to go. Um... All the numbers for it are over here. Um, it was originally owned, and I'm not going to show this part quite on camera. You can see a bit of it there at the bottom, the Martinsburg part. Um, it was originally owned by a man named William, who lived in Martinsburg, West Virginia. It's pretty neat. Um, but I'm not going to show that full address just because. Um, mind the chair squeaks. The chair is also old. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's pretty neat. Pretty neat machine. Um, so, from what I gather, anyway, the way this works is you're going to input your numbers. So we'll go one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, just for posterity. When you crank down on this, it, all the information is stored down here. This is where it tells you exactly which buttons you've pressed. Up here, that translates into, when you crank the handle, you can see everything work. 
all these pull up. And these little stamps, these little stamps down here, move forward onto the uh, actual stamp plates, and it stamps the numbers that you've pressed, in this case, one, two, three, four, five, six, into the roll of paper, which is fed through underneath of this roller, um, up through, and then when you let go, everything resets. So now you add in the number that you want to add it to. So we're also going to do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And add. Okay. So now you see these two are depressed. This means that it's got a, that it's got information stored. That's ready to add. So we're going to crank it. That resets it all. Now this one over here is down, um, and all of these are flat again, which lets us know that we can total it. We're gonna go ahead and hit our total button or our total key. You can see that does a little thing over here. Now, if we didn't want to total it, we'd pull this. This is our recall setting, so that just resets it. Or we're gonna lock it into place. It locks the mechanism over here. Sorry, I'm trying to do this through the camera. Right here, this locks this little mechanism, uh, which lets the machine know that we are in fact ready to add. Crank the handle. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> I love this thing. Um So, it's got numbers from 0 to 9. Um obviously, like I said, since it's not a 9 uh since it's not a 9 punch machine, it you can't hit 1 through 9. You can only do 1 through 6. Um I mean, you can hit 1 through 9 like you uh you go 1 2 3 Four, five, six. Oh, so you could hit one, two, three, four, five, six. And you can hit the other ones. Won't go any further. I could hit nine, 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 nine. I mean, it still works, but I guess you can see what I'm saying. You can't hit all one through nine in sequence and have them um, show up, but one through six works in sequence. Um, if you wanted to multiply, you'd press this button, which I showed you earlier, and so hit one through six again. Oops. Um, it's not clear. Hit one through six again. Clear. We'll turn, or we'll hit one more time. Alright, this lets us know we're ready to now total out. Alright, we'll turn them all play off now. So, pretty neat machine. Um, absolutely wonderful thing to have. Um, looks stellar without the actual housing on top of it. Although, it also looks stellar with it on top. Um, the gray color is a little dull, but there again, this would be used in sort of an office sort of setting. Um, either an office or at a counter for a, um, like a gas station, maybe. Um, although it'd have to be a pretty wealthy gas station. These things were not cheap. So, again, there's a bit of gunk. You can see there's a bit of oddball hair and stuff down in here that I'm going to need to clean out eventually, eventually. I'll probably do a better video on it then, like an update video. But for now, this has been Jarrett with the Remington Rand adding machine. Nice vintage piece of machinery. Sort of small considering the time, but I'm still pretty big considering how small calculators have gotten now. Um, all right.